Good morning sunflowers, it's Mrs Bevelacqua here and welcome to your number session for today. Before we start, go and get your learning pack, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. And to begin with, we're going to practice writing our numbers. For this next part, you're going to need your learning pack, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. We are going to practice writing our numbers. Are you ready? What number is this? That's right, it's number one and I've popped a little monster on the top. Can you see where you have to start? We go start at the top where the monster is and we say a downward stroke. My, that's fun. Now I've made the number one. You all know this is my favourite one. What number is it? That's right, it's number three. Around the tree, around the tree. Now I've made a number three. What number comes after number one? That's right, it's number two. So we're going to start at the top where the monster is, the green spot. And we say half a heart says, I love you. Add a line. Now I've made the number two. You keep practising number two on your piece of paper. Make sure it's facing the right way. Next is number five. Draw the hat, the back and the belly. It's a five. Watch out, it might come alive. What number comes after number three? That's right, it's number four. We go start at the top where the monster is and then we go down and across and down once more. Now I've made the number four. Make sure you're practising that you're holding your pencil correctly. Well done. Here's number seven. Across the sky and down from heaven. Now I've made the number seven. Here's number seven. Across the sky and down from heaven. Now I've made the number seven. Here is zero. We're going to have a practice at writing zero. We start at the top on the, where the pink spot is and we go around to my left to find my hero. Back to the top, I've made a zero. Now it's your turn to have a go. What's this next number? That's right, it's number six. We start where the monster is and then we bend down low to pick up sticks. Now I've made the number six. And the last one we're going to practice is number nine. Make an oval and a line. Now I've made the number nine. Make sure you're starting on the monster and you finish where the pink spot is. Make sure it's a number nine and not a p. Well done. This one's the tricky one. What number is it? That's right, it's number eight. You can do this. We make a s and close the gate. Now you've made a number eight. Keep on practising till you get it right. Don't forget to do a s first. Well done. Time to get our brains warmed up. What I'm going to ask you to do is have a look at the tens frame and then I want you to shout out how many counters you can see in that tens frame as fast as you can. Are you ready? Well done, that's right, there's five counters. How about this one? How many counters can you see? That's correct, there are eight counters. Five across the top and three across the bottom. And notice that there are two spaces that are empty. How many can you see now? 
That's right, there are 10. There are five counters, five yellow counters at the top, and five red counters at the bottom. And all together, we have 10. How many counters can you see this time? That's correct. There are nine counters in my tens frame. There are five counters, five yellow counters across the top and four red counters across the bottom. And all together, that makes nine. Notice there is one space empty. Today we are continuing with our learning of 9 and 10 and today we're going to be sorting 9 and 10 again but this time it's going to be a little bit tricky. On the screen you will see a card. What I would like you to do is pause the video and you need to count how many is on the Numicon or on the card? What does it represent? How many is there? And you need to decide if it goes in the number 9 bucket or in the number 10 bucket. Pause the video at each new picture. Are you ready? Let's go. That's correct. This card belongs in the 10 bucket. It has a Numicon of 8 and a Numicon of 2. Altogether, that makes 10. Well done. Now let's try this one. Which bucket does the card belong to? Pause the video, have a count, which one does it need to go into? That's correct. This card belongs in the number 9 bucket. One dice shows 6 spots and the other dice shows 3 spots. All together, that makes 9. Well done. Let's try this one. Pause the video and count the Numicon card carefully. That's correct. This card belongs in the 10 bucket. On the card, you can see that there is a Numicon re representing 9 and a Numicon piece with just one. All together, that makes ten. Let's try this one. Which bucket does the card belong to? Pause the video and count carefully. That's correct. This card belongs to the nine bucket. You can see that it has one space missing and the rest are all filled up. There's five across the top, one full line and then four spots on the bottom. Let's try this one. Pause the video and count carefully. That's right. This card represents 10, so it should be in the 10 bucket. On the one side of the ladybird, you will see it has seven spots, and the other side has three spots. Altogether, that makes 10. This is the last one. Which bucket? does the card belong to? Pause the video and count carefully.
That's correct. There are 10 buns on the picture. There are six buns at the bottom and four buns at the top. Altogether, that makes 10. Super counting, well done. Here is your activity for today. What I'd like you to do is have a look at each card. Does it represent nine or ten? And what you've got to do is sort them into two groups. One group being nine and one group being ten. I will pop the link under this video. So if you have a printer at home, you can print it out, cut them out and put them into two piles. If not, you could draw your own. Well done today, sunflowers. You've worked really hard and you've done some super counting. You have learnt different ways of representing 9 and 10. And you've also managed to sort them into two different piles. Well done. Come back tomorrow for another math session.